Before I begin this updated review of Ballistic Baseball on Apple Arcade, I just want to say that, yes, I am back. You may notice that the audio is a little bit funky for the time being. There has been a little bit of a story regarding moving different states in the location where we are right now. So I might do that in a different upload. I'm not exactly sure just yet. I'm hoping to get most of these audio problems resolved or somewhat remedied by the end of the week. But in case it doesn't happen, just know that it is going to be an ongoing process and I appreciate your patience as I try to get around these issues. When Ballistic Baseball initially launched on Apple Arcade back in October of 2019, it was a 2 out of 5. The biggest problems plaguing Ballistic Baseball at launch were a lack of a season mode, unpolished bugs and other graphical miscues, and an overall feeling of not being in complete control. A few months and some updates later, Ballistic Baseball has improved on some of those shortcomings. The updates don't resolve every problem, and it even introduces some minor ones that weren't present back at launch. But as of this point, Ballistic Baseball is a decent sports game to play on Apple Arcade. The largest addition to Ballistic Baseball is the new career mode. In this mode, you take one of the game's six teams and take them from the cornfield all the way up to the big leagues. The players are divided between bronze, silver, and gold ranks, with the ranks determining how much these players can be upgraded. In order to gain more upgrade points, you must win against the opposing team, or try to win. You start off playing one inning games, eventually being able to play three inning games once you get to the big leagues. Upgrade points are gained based on the outcome of those games, with wins netting you more and even more if you decide to play online. With these points, you can upgrade a batter's contact rating, a pitcher's stamina, and some other different categories. You can also change the batting and field lineup to better optimize your team. Once enough upgrade points are spent, your team will move up a league, inching one step closer to the big leagues. As good as the addition of a career mode is to Ballistic Baseball, it does suffer from two issues, with one of them dependent on how you decide to play. The first league is strictly played in the cornfield, and the second completely in AAA Stadium. Playing in the cornfield might seem tedious, but since the games are only one inning long, they're over quickly and the progression is, for the most part, pretty smooth. Once you begin playing in AAA Stadium, however, progression starts to seem pretty slow. It's true that the games are now two innings long as opposed to one, but AAA Stadium is the most stale field to play in, and it just feels boring and a slog to get through it all. At least with the cornfield, you have that pickup game of baseball feeling that remains and the fanfare being quite diminished, but with AAA Stadium, it's home to no team in particular, and more specifically, there's no flash to it at all, which makes progressing through the second league somewhat tedious. Progressing through the second league can be remedied by playing online, where more upgrade points can be gained compared to playing against the AI. It's a roll of the dice, however, on how balanced your matches are going to be. Your team will either be evenly matched, your three or four star team will steamroll a beginning team in the cornfield for a quick one inning, or vice versa. Without knowing exactly how matchmaking works, from my experience, it seemed like I was matched up with whoever was online at the time, as opposed to their current career level. In the event that another player cannot be found, Ballistic Baseball will give you the option to play against the AI, with the AI reward levels for upgrade points. Other fixes to Ballistic Baseball are overall polishing and squashing the bugs, making a game that was somewhat frustrating to play at launch more enjoyable, or at the very least, more bearable. Ground roll doubles will no longer grant inside the park home runs, and most visual hiccups have been resolved. Ground outs still seem unfair at times if you compare the baseball diamond diagram to what is happening on screen, but most of these improvements are noticeable. The only visual goof that still seems to remain is getting hit by a pitch. Sometimes oncoming pitches will phase through your batter and don't register as being hit. 
it really is nothing major, however, that will ruin the outcome of a particular game. With these updates, Ballistic Baseball has been able to turn itself into a sports game worth playing on Apple Arcade, enough to update its score from a 2 out of 5 to a 3 out of 5. The career mode adds long-term replayability to get all six teams to the big leagues, and the game doesn't feel as rough to experience or play. The career mode is hampered by some early progression problems, and the multiplayer matchmaking isn't as tidy as it could be, but overall, I would say that the efforts Ballistic Baseball made are enough to offset these negatives. Ballistic Baseball probably hasn't done enough to convince the average Apple Arcade user to jump in, but when it comes to sports game players on the service, Ballistic Baseball is now one of the better ones. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and wish to see more, consider subscribing, turn on notifications, and follow the various social media channels to stay tuned and updated on the latest developments. See you next time.